Hey guys, and welcome back to Black Mountain Stables. We are over here in our new field, harvesting some soybeans in our new harvester. That's right, we have upgraded to the Massey Ferguson harvester. Traded in the old K1660, got rid of the headers, trailer, and all that fun jazz, and take a look at our new piece of equipment. 7347S with a nice upgraded grain header. Should be able to work through our fields pretty darn quick at this point. So we're just over here opening up the field. Got our grain wagon off there on the side. And you know what? Got $480,000 in the bank. And I've been looking at this field over here. And I've been thinking about making an offer on it. Uh, the only thing that's keeping me from making an offer on it right now is the fact that it's got oats in it. And, well, I really don't need any more oats. Uh, because we just planted our own oat harvest or oat, oat field. So, I don't know. Of course, I could always just, uh, you know, send the oats off to... Uh, Send the oats off to harvest, or off to uh, off to market. That's what we're going to do with these soybeans: is uh, take them off to market. But I've been uh, I've been thinking about that field over there, and I've been thinking about you know once the oats come off it, uh, putting corn in it, just like we're going to put corn into this field here. Been thinking about that because. I've heard about a new technology that actually is going to allow us to take silage and apply some additive chemical to it, cover it back up, and actually re-ferment silage and it basically turns it into a new food source for the cows that in essence has the same overall nutritional benefits as the traditional mixed rations. So that would make feeding our cows even easier uh, from the standpoint of not having to really worry about mixing, using the mixing wagons. We could just, uh, we could just ferment everything into, uh, into mixed rations. But I've also heard heard news that the uh, that our dealer here, Black Mountain Equipment, is signing a a new manufacturer to its lineup that it's now going to be representing a company out of California or not California, Canada. I'll call it Anderson Equipment. And they have some new, uh, some new feed mixers that are significantly bigger than the ones that we have now. Uh, so we would be able to uh, possibly trade in our existing mixer for a good deal on a new one from this Anderson group. So that is something else that I'm looking at. Not really sure which direction I'm going to go. I'm going to go with... Uh, basically redoing our silage with this additive or if we're just going to go and get a bigger bigger overall mixer oh this field over here is rough on this side they must have uh, they must have dumped the rocks from when they dug the uh, the tunnel there they must have dumped the rocks over here because it is pretty pretty rough I think what we can do is see if we can't. Get lined up here. What are we doing? Well, we'll have to clean that up here in a little bit. We are missing a little bit. We'll have to, uh, I got GPS on this. Auto steering, and we must have must have our width off just a little bit. I have to see about taking care of that. 
when we get here to the end of the run. I'll uh, double back, take care of this a little bit, and then see if maybe we can fine tune our auto steering functionality. Because it seems that we are a little bit, a little bit off on our width. And while we're over here, we might as well just empty our bin. Just us this afternoon. Patrick's busy with the kids. They've got some type of uh, program at school. Got to go to. I told them that, you know what? The beans are a perfect moisture to, uh, to go ahead and get, get going. And quite frankly, I was, I was excited and uh, eager to want to uh, try out this new harvester. So I was more than willing to, uh, to offer to, um, to harvest this field for him this afternoon. While we're unloading our grain, we'll take a look at the, uh, the manual and try to figure out how we can... Uh, adjust the working width on this uh, auto steering GPS add-on because if we're going to be leaving little bits uh, then we might as well not even use the darn thing right all right well I think that's probably good go ahead and Oh, can I see the pipe? Oh, good, we can see the pipe. Oh, we don't want to hit the fence. Alright. So while that's unloading, let's go ahead and try to figure out the, uh, the manual here. Just check the uh, just check the working width of our header. Our header is seven point six meters. All right, so let's go ahead and check here auto width seven point six. There, that might be better. All right. Now let's see if maybe we can uh, do a little better job. Let's go ahead and get Let's just work this down a little bit because this side is awful close to that fence. Open up this side of the field a little bit more. Let's see if maybe we can reset our guidance steering. I think that's the technical term for this technology is not GPS so much as guided steering. All right. So let's see here. The way this the way this works out is we are supposed to So set a point, a waypoint, which we just did. Go a little bit. The new waypoint, and then lock in on the course, and now we should be good to go. Not skipping any. Good to see. Now we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and get spun around here. Let's drop on down. 
and uh, well, we'll come back, catch that little bit, see how well we're doing here. This, I think this, uh, I think this harvester is going to make quick work not only of this field but of our big oat field over there. Going to be a welcome addition. And uh, we're going to be able to use this particular harvester uh, to help out our fellow farmers in the future also. Now the reason I'm kind of torn uh, with, with respect to buying that field back here, that other oat field, is that, well, the money could be spent on our on our forage harvester and we could spend the money for a new forage harvester uh, which we're going to need if we're going to plant this field in corn good deal we are taking the most use of the header good um and it's going to be right around oh gosh i don't know right around three hundred thousand dollars which will leave us with just around 180 I've got the catalog here. When we get here to the um, end of the row and get turned around, we're going to lock back in on the next pass, and then I'll show you guys the catalog. Make a turn. Yeah, let me show you guys the, uh, the harvester that we're looking at. We're looking at the big X8580. Up to $275,000. Sorry. And then I'm looking at matching that with uh, with the Easy Collect 600. So that's another $80,000. So that's going to be like $350,000 um, or so. And... And that's going to put us down to about a hundred and what thirty thousand dollars in the bank. Now, if we bought the uh, the field over here, that would uh, that would do about the same amount of money, I think, three hundred fifty thousand dollars. Let's go ahead and see if we can't maybe. Uh, oh no! I've done a little bit of damage to our our header there. So we get locked in here again. Let's go ahead and check the real estate listings for uh, for that field. The real estate holdings four hundred thousand dollars. So for four hundred grand, that would only leave us with eighty thousand uh, dollars. We would need to earn a fair bit of money in order to be able to buy that forage harvester. We would have, we would have some time, but my goodness, it's hard to, hard to earn that much money over just a short time period of, of one growing season. That's why I'm thinking about holding off on that field maybe, for a little while. Definitely buy it next time we, uh, next time we, swap our horses out once they are fully trained again. Wind up. This is making really, really good work of this field. I think what we'll do is we will um, go ahead and clean up what we've got over here, then unload again. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and treat you guys to a little bit of a uh, of a music to get her loot.
So I have to say, I think this guided steering package on this harvester is working pretty darn good. Just need to make sure that we are kind of lined up before we enable it. Uh, we did miss a few little, little patches, but uh, this will help us very, very much get the most time effective uh, work done. Uh, time is money, and uh, the less time that we need to spend doing any one task is uh, going to aid us uh, able to uh, basically get more done in the same time frame of the day. And the more we get done, the more money we can make. So I think the uh, I think the price, the market price for the soybeans at the moment isn't the greatest. So we're just going to go ahead and haul this load down to our silos and store them for now. I've got a sense that uh, it should get pretty, the price should increase. Let's see where's our tractor. Our tractor's over there. So our price should increase fairly well here in the next uh, few weeks. So that's when we'll probably look at selling our uh, our soybeans is in a couple weeks. Once we're able to land a, uh, a good deal. I'm going to have to talk with the shop and see what they would give me for a trade-in on that mixer or a larger Anderson Group mixer uh, and see if that is, is cost effective as opposed to going the route of this additive, this new additive, which I understand is a little expensive. So it may be that it's in our best interest to get this this larger mixer uh, more, more for the uh, long-term benefit of the farm. So we'll have to see. I think I'll let you guys know next time... Uh, Next time we're around and uh, chatting it out, chatting it up, I'll have to let you guys know what our uh, what our ultimate decision was. I think there is going to be a, probably a uh, a little delay from the time that we put the order in till they can actually deliver the uh, the mixer. So that's the other thing: is what's the delivery time frame? How long is it going to take? Know that they are working on on the dealership agreement to be able to offer this particular product line so I would assume that already having a buyer lined up for some of this equipment would aid in their negotiations so they may be willing to cut me a deal so to speak on uh, on getting that so we'll have to see hey guys we're just gonna go ahead and finish up the field here I'm gonna call it a day I want to thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please go ahead and click the like button. Let me know in the comments what you thought of today's video. What do you think? Should we go with a new Anderson mixer? Or should we go with an interesting additive uh, that we can apply to our silage and basically ferment silage a second time and make mixed rations? Until next time, happy farming.